Hey, what is up, guys? Woo here, back with a part two to a series that you guys keep asking for in every single one of my update videos and stuff like that, which is What If Midoriya Died Part 2? Now, time for a quick recap on what's happened with the series since it's been a while. This is going to be very brief, so if you want more information, watch the original video, and with that, let's do this recap. Basically, all you'll need to know for this video is that during the USJ attack, All Might was attacked by Shigaraki because Midoriya wasn't there to, you know, stall long enough for the pro villains to come. So... Then when he was attacked, his skinny form was revealed. Kirishima, Todoroki, Bakugo, and Shigaraki found out that All Might has a skinny form. All Might talks to all three of the boys being Kirishima, Todoroki, and Bakugo after the USJ attack to tell them to keep it a secret. They do. And then the sports festival happens. All three boys, Todoroki, Kirishima, and Bakugo talk about what had happened and what to do about it since they are the only three to know what is going on with All Might. Eraserhead starts class telling the students about the sports festival and how it's going to happen in a few days and that they should start training for it. Todoroki gets pulled over by All Might and All Might tells Todoroki that he should use his fireside during the sports festival. Todoroki asks why he should, and All Might explains to him that even though he got his quirk from his father, that the quirk is still his own and he shouldn't hold back because the entire world will see him. Later on that same day, All Might also pulls over Bakugo to explain to him that his confidence is a double-edged sword and that it's fine to have confidence, but make sure it doesn't go too overboard to the point where you'll let things go past you or you'll make miscalculations. All Might tells Kirishima just to use his brain more. All Might decided to pull all these kids over and give them advice as thanks for keeping his weakened state a secret from the world. All of Class 1A and 1B walk onto a giant stage and see a crowd full of people. It's time for the Sports Festival. Round 1 of the Sports Festival begins. As you guys remember, Midoriya won first place in this round, but since he's dead, he isn't going to place first, so Todoroki will get first instead, with Bakugo coming in second and the vine-haired girl from Class 1B getting third place, just like the anime and manga. And it's time for the cavalry battle teams. All the teams are the same except for Midoriya's team, obviously. To make this easier, I'll just say Ochako is the team leader and she is stuck with Mei Hatsume and Fumokaji, I think is how you pronounce it, Tokoyami. And with that, who wins? It's Todoroki's team again. So basically, he keeps a strong lead in the sports festival. The reason why is because of the fact that his team is really good at offense and defense. And without Midoriya's intelligence, no other team even had the chance to get his headbands. Bakugo places second, Shinso's team places third, and Oshako's team gets fourth barely thanks to her zero gravity quirk. And she was the only group that Todoroki or Bakugo didn't go after because they didn't see her as a threat and she was too high up for them to focus on her team. Time for round three, the one-on-one -on -one battles. All the matches play out the same. The only thing is, is since Ochako's team is three instead of four, Shinso was lucky enough to get a free match pass since there was an odd amount of people in the tournament, meaning he would go up against Todoroki in round two. This time, Ojuro pulls over Todoroki instead of Midoriya to explain how he thinks Shinso's quirk works. Todoroki keeps this in mind, and then their match begins. Shinso tries to taunt Todoroki to talk, but it doesn't work, and he instantly freezes the floor of the arena. Shinso struggles until he just decides to take off his shoes and charge at Todoroki. Todoroki just freezes another layer again, freezing Shinso's feet. Shinso, realizing that he can't win, throws the match. All rounds are the same again until the finale, Bakugo versus Todoroki. Todoroki and Bakugo staring at each other, knowing what this fight means. Who is the best in all of Class 1A? And then they charge at each other. Todoroki makes an ice spear that Bakugo just explodes immediately, then activates a stun grenade. Todoroki was prepared for that and builds a mini dome to protect himself and his eyes from the shine. Bakugo jumps onto the dome and breaks it with an explosion. Todoroki jumps back and starts riding ice. Bakugo breaks the small ice trail, sending Todoroki flying. Then Todoroki uses the ice to throw himself back onto the stage. They both stand still and stare at each other as the crowd starts to cheer. Everyone is losing it as they see the two guys charge at each other again. This time, Bakugo hits Todoroki with an explosion, which sends him flying up in the air. Then Bakugo uses another explosion to jump up to Todoroki's height to punch him in the gut, sending him to the floor. Todoroki is on the floor, coughing, as Bakugo tells him to give up, and Todoroki stands back up, breathing heavily. Bakugo points out to Todoroki that the, he's shivering, he's cold, and he isn't using his fireside. Todoroki yells out to him, telling him that he refuses to use his father's quirk and uses another ice attack that Bakugo easily avoids, and Bakugo exclaims that he's getting tired. Bakugo punches Todoroki again, and Todoroki gets flashbacks to his mom and the conversation that he had with All Might. Then Todoroki activates his fire side. He sends Bakugo flying back, and Bakugo starts to think mentally that he's got Todoroki flustered, upset, and 
confused and that he's going to win the match. But before he can attack, Midnight yells out that Todoroki wins. Bakugo looks at the floor, realizing that he let his confidence overtake him and he miscalculated the landing and was barely out of bounds. He sits there puzzled as everyone cheers for Todoroki. And that's it for part two, guys. So if you enjoyed part two, be sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you guys want a part three, obviously let me know in the comment section below. You guys know how this works. I'll try not to make this really late this time. If, if you guys really do want a part three, I'll try to get it out like a few weeks, a few days maybe, depending on how things work out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.